Alexander Open. The cart looks uncomfortable. Not Alexander opens the dungeon door and slips inside. Mother? Mother, where are you? What's the matter, little boy? I'm lost. I can't find my mother. I don't know why she would just leave me here. I've been alone ever so long. You must be the son of the spirit I met in the realm of the dead. She gave me this handkerchief and asked me to tell you that she's waiting for you there. It's Mama's. It even smells like her. I can feel her now. I know where to go. Wait. Before you go, is there anything you can tell me about the castle? I like to play in secret places. In the basement behind the Man of Steel is a door. Nobody except me knows it's there anymore. Alexander decides to find out what's on the other side of that door. Prince Alexander! I can't believe it! How did you get into the castle? Well, I... Actually, it's a little hard to explain. I bet. <laughs> you run the terrible risk of being here, though. The castle is crawling with guard dogs, especially today. The Wazir will have your hide if he finds you. I know that, Jalo. But Kasima is being married today. What greater risk is there than that? Of course you're right. Young love. <laughs> I forgot what heartburn it is. But what are you supposed to do about it? I've got to try to see her. Maybe even stop the wedding. Is that all? And here I thought you would try something dangerous. <sighs> Don't worry about me, friend. Just tell me, where is Kasima? As far as I know, she's still in her bedroom upstairs. You'd never make it up there, though. The guard dogs are everywhere, and they're very loyal to the crown. Unfortunately, right now the crown means El Hazred. If we had proof of something truly a foul, the guard dogs might listen. As it is, they're your enemies, not his. I understand. I've had no lack of enemies since I got here. In fact, you'd almost think I wasn't welcome. There's probably a good reason why so many wish to harm you. I believe the Wazir's genie has learned of your presence on the islands. Tell me about this genie. al Hazred brought the genie with him when he came to this kingdom. It is seldom the genie will take human life himself. Uh, usually he is more of a trickster and a spy. But that doesn't mean he isn't dangerous. In fact, he is quite powerful. If, for example, we could get the genie's lamp, then you could master the genie. El Hazred and all our other problems would be solved. Hmm. Is that merely wishful thinking? Or do you have something in mind? Well, I admit I have often daydreamed about owning that lamp. My fingers are nimble enough, and I could probably find a chance to steal it. <laughs> Unfortunately, the theft would be detected immediately. 
And I happen to prefer my neck attached to my body. If the theft were detected. Exactly. So, I have also thought if I had a replica of the genie's lamp, an exact replica, I just might be able to... Ah, uh, where would we get a replica of the genie's lamp? <laughs> uh, dreaming's pleasant, but I'm afraid it won't help to stop the wedding. But for Kasima's sake, uh, well, I wish you luck. I'll be here if you can think of anything I can do to help. Thanks, Jalo. I've been thinking of what you said about swapping a replica for the genie's lamp. I got this lamp from the old lamp seller in town. Do you think it will pass? Why, yes! It's an exact replica! That's amazing! How did you guess? I suppose it was intuition. Hmm. I'll have to wait for the right moment, mind you. But I should be able to get close enough to swap this for the real thing. And none shall be the wiser. Now you shall see Jalo's skill. I'm sure your hands are mightier than my sword, my clever friend. <laughs> Go ahead and do as you've planned. And let me worry about swapping the lamp. If I accomplish the trickery, I'll manage to get the lamp to you somehow. You never fear. I have faith, Jalo. You are a true friend. Oh, shucks. I'd do anything for the princess. Alexander exam A closed door on the north wall bears a small brass plot. The castle basement is this is the north. Alexander examines the suit of armor, but sees nothing special. Remembering what the little boy ghost said, Alexander <coughs> A secret passage. Alexander peers through the chink in the wall. Captain, I've been hearing rumors from the guards who've been watching the princess. They say lately she's been pounding on her door and begging to be let out. Ain't none of my business, sir, but news like that is upsetting the other dogs. Ain't no guard in the castle who would willingly keep the princess anywhere she don't want to be. Azred claims that a foreign intruder is here to assassinate her. That's why she's got to be kept under lock and key right up until the wedding. Call me an old dog that can't learn new tricks, but I say the princess should be the one given the orders. Alhazred has been in charge for months, what with the king's death and Kasima's mourning. Tonight, the wedding will seal it, and there's nothing we can do about it. Like him or not, he's our liege. Need I remind you of your oath to the crown? Aye, we've an oath. For the sake of the princess, we'll not be forgetting it. He'd just better treat her well. Speaking of the wazir, what do you reckon he's keeping in that magical room of his? It's not a magic room. It's just the door he's enchanted somehow. I say he's still got the royal treasury in there, along with whatever else he's so eager to protect. Not even the court treasurer is allowed in there anymore. I heard him in the hall the other day. He was speaking to that door. Black magic is what I say. I heard him say, Ali. But then Bay came up and started yapping at me. Enough! It is not our place to question the practices of our liege, no matter how strange. 
The wedding will be starting soon. Report to the throne room when you hear the music start. Alexander peers through the chinks in the wall, trying to locate the source of the crying sounds. Alexander's palms begin to sweat and his heart to race. It's Cosima. He's found her. Psst! Princess Cosima! What? Who's there? It is I, Alexander. I'm here behind this wall. My, how suave that sounds. Alexander? It really is you! Oh, I knew you were close by, but how did you get inside the castle walls? It's a long story and not important now. You did get my ring. Oh, yes. It has brought me such comfort, Alexander, to know you were close by and had not forgotten. But you shouldn't be here. You're only endangering yourself. I don't care about the danger. I would brave anything to learn. What is it? Alhazred, do you want to wed him, Cosima? Oh, please believe me when I say that I never agreed to marry that man. Even when my father trusted Abdul absolutely, I never liked him. But with mother and father gone, I'm afraid there's no stopping him. If you do not wish to marry him, Cosima, you shall not. I promise you. Only come with me now, and we shall escape. How? I cannot fit through this wall. Besides, do you think I could leave my kingdom, my people, in Abdul's hands? But Abdul would tear the castle apart if I were to disappear from my room. You shall have to do what you can to delay his plans from your end. I can't just leave you here. Alexander, do not despair from me. I have been safe in this room for nearly six months now. Abdul can be in no hurry, whatever he plans. After all, I'm to be his bride, am I not? I have been planning too, you see. I believe I can escape. If I can only get a chance to lay my hands on a weapon, there might be an opportunity in the hustle of the wedding. But I... Shh! Just a moment more. Then you must go. Let us not waste time with words. Please, let me just look at you, dear Alexander. Here, take this dagger. It's not much. But it might come in handy. Why, it's perfect. This is just the sort of thing I've been looking for. Thank you, Alexander. I'll keep it close and use it if I must. Alexander looks with longing at the fair Cosima. She's even more beautiful than he remembered. Oh no! Someone's coming! The lock on Cosima's door rattles abruptly. Alexander, hurry! Step away before they see you! Alexander hears scuffling and a woman's brief cry from the other side of the wall. Then, silence. Alexander... Alexander looks through the chink in the wall. Dear Shadrach, salutations from the Society of the Black Cloak, etc., etc. My long preparations are about to come to fruition. In a matter of minutes, I will wed the lovely... <laughs> Kazima. Once I've established my power and my crown, I can stage another 